Legend has it that in the 15th century, King Loy was lent a mythical sword by the Dragon King to fight against a foreign invasion. One day, after defeating the enemy, the king was on a dragon boat sailing around Luk Twi Lake, when suddenly a giant turtle with a golden shell emerged from the water surface and asked him to return the magic sword to his master, the Dragon King. King Loy tossed it towards the turtle, and the turtle catched the sword and descended back into the water. From then on, people renamed the lake to Hong Kiem, or Lake of the Returned Sword. I've been to many places in Asia, but to me Hanoi has always been my favorite destination because here I can both enjoy the busy atmosphere of a modern city as well as the unique traits of the old days. I'm here at the Noxun Temple on Hong Kiam Lake. This is one of the symbols of the capital of Hanoi. You might wonder, what is this mummy of the turtle doing here? Well, this is the turtle related to the legend of Hong Kiam, as well as its name. The legend is nice, isn't it? This is not the only turtle. There's much more to tell about the turtle in Vietnamese culture. I will show you. I am here at the Temple of Literature. This is the first university built in Vietnam during the Li Dynasty in the 11th century. As you can see, the doctorates of the old time are written down on stelias, placed on turtles. This is a sign of longevity of the knowledge. When visiting worshipping places like temples and pagodas in Vietnam, you can easily find statues of cranes standing on turtles. According to Vietnamese belief, turtles have a long lifespan, therefore they represent longevity. And cranes are believed to be birds of the fairy world, therefore they symbolize enduring power and perfection. Because of these beautiful meanings, turtles and cranes are worshipped by the Vietnamese people. Also, these two animals represent the harmony between heaven and earth, and between yin and yang. Despite all the legends and the profound meaning in Asian culture, most of Asia's turtoise and freshwater turtles are facing extinction right now. And Vietnam is not an exception. Due to widespread hunting, as well as collection of the turtles for traditional medicine, exotic dishes, or keeping them as pets. So I am wondering, in this situation, how can the turtle species survive? Join me on a trip of turtle conservation with Vietnam Discovery. My name is Eggy, I come from Holland, and I'm a traveler and English teacher. National Park, which is about 120 kilometers away from Hanoi. The park was established in 1962 and it's the first national park in Vietnam. Cuc Phuong National Park is located in Ninh Binh province. It is the largest nature reserve in Vietnam with a total area of more than 22,000 hectares. Also, the park is one of the most important sites for biodiversity in the country. Cuc Phuong is home to an amazing diversity of flora and fauna. According to the recent survey data, the park has 2,234 species of vascular plants and mosses. Inhabitants include 135 species of mammals, 122 reptilian and amphibian species. A number of species in the park are listed on Vietnam's Red Book of Endangered Species. Cuc Phuong is amazing. 
It's not easy to see wildlife in the forest. So be careful, be quiet when you walk through. Listen to the birds and you might well see some wildlife. The main feeling I felt was being happy to walk in the forest. Also because you don't see that much forest. This beautiful, this dense and this evergreen. Hi Aggy! Hey! Do you know where you are? No, I don't. Can you tell me? You just arrived at the 1,000 year old tree. It's called Chochi in Vietnamese. Also, it's one of the rarest species you can find in this forest or anywhere else. Why do you know all this about this tree? Because I'm Professor Egbert and I love nature. So congratulations on finishing your three kilometer hike. Now please continue your journey. There's much more to discover here in this forest. Thank you. Chochi tree, scientific name Parastrea stellata, is a must-see in Kukfung National Park. It's about 45 meters tall and especially its diameter of 5 meters is spectacular. Arms of more than 20 people may hold its roots. However, this species of trees is also under threat because of the loss of habitat. There are so many things that are interesting in this forest, but I'm not here to have a vacation. Turtles are waiting for me. Here I am at the Turtle Center in Kukfung National Park. The center was established in 1998 as a rescue and holding center for Vietnamese turtles and freshwater turtles. What's really interesting is that here you can find the most rarest species of turtles. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Pleasure meeting you too today. So in here we call the information room where we find every information about our center. Yes. Yeah. So uh, an expert who will accompany me during my journey to learn about the turtle conservation is Do Teng Hao, manager of the Turtle Conservation Center. Hao said that the turtle is one of the gentlest of reptile species, the slowest, but also most vulnerable due to hunting. He hopes that everyone will join hands for the future of the turtles. I like to hear that. I absolutely like that. The TCC was established by Fauna Flora International. The center comprised of enclosures, aquatic tanks and specialized breeding and holding facilities for more than 600 turtles representing 21 of Vietnam's 25 native species. Although large confiscations of turtles are becoming rare in Vietnam, the TCC still receives endangered and critically endangered turtles from illicit trade. Fans of thousands of turtles have been rescued and released back into the wild thanks to the efforts of the center. <laughs> it's amazing! This one is not scared at all! Most animals here in the center have been confiscated by the wildlife protection authorities from illegal trade. The main goal here is to nurture the animals back in a natural habitat until they can be released back into the wild. Here I can see with my own eyes endangered and critically endangered turtles representing the three regions of northern, central and southern Vietnam. First, big-headed turtle, declared endangered in the Red Book by IUCN in 2010 and by Vietnam in 2007. Location, from North Vietnam to the Central Highlands, easy to die. Second, Vietnamese palm turtle, declared critically endangered by IUCN and Vietnam in 2010. Location, only in the central region of Vietnam. Very hard to find this species in the wild now. Third, 
Vietnamese box turtle, critically endangered. Location, only found in Vietnam, particularly in coastal areas, extremely rare. And I know about the legendary Hong Kiem turtle, giant soft shell turtle, critically endangered. Only four turtles now left in the world, two in Vietnam and two in China. I was not aware that there were so many species here in Vietnam. So that's something for me that I found is, is special about this animal, the diversity, where they live, how they live, what they eat. So right now, you can see that we serve the turtles a fruit salad. And it's not maybe with all the mayonnaise we would have back home, but it's a really nice looking dish we serve to the turtles. Breakfast served, enjoy your meal. Turtles and freshwater turtles in the center are being carefully and scientifically taken care of. Their food includes fruit, worms and fish. They are fed every day in summer, but in winter this routine is every two days to suit their hibernation. I arrived at a turtle conservation center nearly at the end of the mating season of the turtle. It lasts from March to December. Turtles lay eggs once a year and from 1 to 10 eggs each time. That means I will have a chance to find turtle eggs. So now I'm following Mr. Howe. Really exciting to find eggs. Where can we find them? Okay. Oh, over there. I saw mm. one. Yeah, you can see it uh, looks like a new soy. Right. Yeah, right. so different with uh, the other place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see, I guess, that in here we can find the turtle eggs. Go ahead. Yeah. Tree in here. Right. Yeah. And uh, I write out the... Ah, so the highest point, huh? Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, the highest point. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be really careful here in this process. Never, ever turn the egg upside down. What can happen? The fetus inside can die. And we might never ever have a hatching. So carefully, carefully put it down. And hopefully in a few months we have a new one. The eggs will hatch after 70 to 120 days depending on different species and temperature. And the temperature will affect the sex of the turtle. It's like this. Below 28 degrees Celsius, it will be a male. 32 degrees Celsius, it will be a female. Since its establishment, the center has succeeded in conducting captive breeding for 19 out of 21 species of turtle here. Thousands of baby turtles have been born and released into the wild. Besides the work at the center, another important task for my expert here is to conduct fact-finding trips to find turtles and research their habitats. And I will join him on such a trip. So here we are, preparing for our trip into the jungle, finding the turtles. The following equipment we will bring. Over here. We have a hammock, we will bring GPS, as well as knives. And last but not least, we need some food to get through the trip. Our expert knows how to find the turtles, but to make a job not that hard, we also bring the local guide, and he has his hunting dogs. These dogs are trained to sniff, to smell the turtles, in order that we can find them. I really enjoy my time making friends with these lovely hunting dogs and finding out more about the traditions of the locals here. 
dân ở đây ở gần ven rừng ừ. nên là thường thường là những hộ dân ở đây vẫn ừ. vẫn còn nuôi chó săn ừ. để nó săn những con thú hoặc là những con rùa đặc điểm là con rùa là nó săn rất tốt vâng What I really enjoyed by the first two hours of our trekking in the jungle was that um, the, the dogs were just enjoying themselves running around but you just had to whistle and they would come straight away back and it reminded me a little bit about my childhood back home. Uh, in my, I come from farmer families myself and we've been hunting when I was young I've been on the, the hunting trips with my grandpa quite a few times uh, and he also brought along some of his uh, other friends and family, our family members. We often use dogs as well uh, in a similar way to, to find the animals, um, to show us the way where to go in the forest or on the fields. So yeah, I love dogs and I really like it to, to I liked it a lot to have them with us in the forest. An average trip will take about 10 to 15 days of trekking in the jungle. However, it's not sure if you can find any turtles. It's like a pleasant surprise that it started raining in the forest. Uh, it gave me a feeling of freshness. In this humidity, walking in the forest, I felt fresh again due to the rain. But another thing is that um, we were that lucky. So you used to achieve more during the rainy, mm -hmm. and we might mm -hmm. see tomorrow today. Yeah, we will, huh? Yeah. Excellent. Well, I gotta tell you that I'm not used to the jungle, so I always had in my mind to be careful of lychees and insects. Especially because of the rain, insects become active. So soon we had to make camp. And it was an interesting experience that we had to hang the hammock. And so we had two trees, we hung it in between. Um, but the trick is to have the good knots. Nice to go trekking in the jungle. Yeah, I didn't imagine that um, it would take that much effort mm -hmm. for the um, finding, yeah. for finding the turtles. Yeah, so it's not that easy, huh? Okay. <laughs> Come here. Zoe, <laughs> 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 it's me. It's me. <laughs> I think. These hammocks are built oh, sorry. for the Vietnamese size, not for the Western <laughs> size. <laughs> That's a cut before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Back home, we don't have to worry about the surface where we sleep in the forest. Um, so normally we use tents. So put up a tent. Yes. Hang a hammock. No, it was the first time in my life. Sunny again. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, the weather can change. Mm. So we start finding the soil again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah, knives. Yeah, I have one here.
Like, you never know for sure if you can find them, yes or no, but we brought most of what we could bring. Uh, with Mr. Howe, but we also had uh, other biologists with his hunting dogs. Um, and they knew, when I was walking with them, they, they seemed to know what they were doing. So I always had the hope of finding uh, some turtles. <coughs> I was surprised to see a turtle there in the jungle in the beginning. But then it was really nice to, to have a look at um, how they live, how they hide in the rocks, uh, how they use their shell. Uh, because when we came close, they were like straight away the head in, tail in, uh, the limbs in. Oh, that's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One already. That's a kilo bacturo, kuro uh, mohoti, one mm. native species of the Kupu National Park. Mm. And this species, we used to find them at the rainy. Yeah, because they achieve more. I see. Yeah, during the rain. Okay. Yeah. Is this a female, a male? Okay. I will show you how to identify male and female. Mm. So the male have long tail and big tails on the female. So I here that's one female. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. cool. And is this um, an adult? Or no, is this a child? No, that's juvenile. Juvenile, juvenile yes. Hmm. How, can so you see? How big will they become? <coughs> fully this grown? could be uh, up to over one kilogram, maybe one and three, uh, one by three kilograms. I can guess that at least uh, nine year. Really? Yes. How can you see that? Okay, you can. Uh, you can cow the circle mm -hmm. here and guess that. Ah, so yeah. it's like with the rings from, from a tree? From a tree, yeah. It's and and each, each circle is one? one year. Ah, yeah. So that yeah, so we can count like yes, a so one, two, two, ah, yeah. Pile up, right? Nine. Yes. <laughs> it's really nice to be part of the team of biologists searching in the jungle through rainy and sunny weather for the turtles. Personally, in the beginning, we're not quite sure if we could catch the turtle. But I'm really, really nice to have this nine-year-old female turtle we found. And personally, I think it's just a great, great way to have a little exercise and to be part of this beautiful Vietnamese nature. All the things about a turtle will be carefully noted into the data form to serve the research work. Measuring the turtle, identifying the gender, age, and so on. Lucky day! <laughs> This one has a kind of bok toro, that's a Chinese um, bok toro. Mm. And the bok means the, the cell look like the bok, and they can uh, they can uh, protect the body of the turtle. Mm -hmm. So on YouTube you can find one video about uh, one lion try to cure the bok toro, <laughs> but the lion could not do that. Yeah. Because it's just boxed in. <laughs> yeah. So nice. You're missing the front limb. It is. Yeah. Can you see that? Mm. How can a turtle survive with uh, missing a limb? Yeah, so um, I guess that uh, she mm -hmm. missing the front limb due yeah. to the snare trap. Isn't she like much more now in danger to be eaten? Or can she still find food? Yeah, still can find food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we bring her back to the uh, conservation center? No, we, no? we should not. Mm. Yeah, and if we take uh, any uh, wildlife from the wild, it's the lot one um, one part of the circle. Uh, so we should not do that. Right. Yeah. We try to protect them. Don't mm -hmm. disturb to them. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Good point. I think so we, we should just release. put her back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Trade in Southeast Asian freshwater turtles has increased greatly in the past 10-15 years. For example, Thailand showed a significant rise in live freshwater turtle exports during the 1990s, reaching a peak of over 6 million animals in 1996. 
However, no quantitative data are available for total exports from Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam or Myanmar. Export volumes are known to be substantial, however. To deal with the situation, activities has been undertaken in Vietnam and other Southeast Asian countries focused on priority species including critically endangered and endemic species of greatest conservation concern. Training and awareness undertaken by the Asian Turtle Program include enforcement training for forest rangers, raising public awareness about the importance of protecting Vietnam's turtles. We're going to visit a village of Mung, ethnic group in the area where Hao will exchange information of wildlife conservation with the locals in order to raise their awareness of protecting nature and its wildlife. Since the old days, Kuk Fung is home to the Mung, ethnic group. Besides practicing agriculture, they have a tradition of going to the forest and exploit it. Thus, conservation education is very important here. We meet an elderly called Ding Van Dang. He is one of the oldest people in the village. He still remembers how people hunted in the past. But now the situation has changed, right from his generation onwards. Đây là con rùa. Thường thường cứ ra đồi núi ra nương thì bắt về. Bắt về đem ra vườn để chơi vậy xong là chơi chán rồi lấy cái nhân ra họ ăn như bây giờ đâu cũng không, không 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 có không có bắt nữa mà vậy như thế là tốt bây giờ rừng người cũng nói là cả cây cối thì cũng xanh lại về con vật đây cũng không trở lại lại bình thường không như ngày xưa thì không không, không khó mà khỏi the village is course um, very close to the national park and these people are uh, it's their livelihood and I was really happy to see that um, from the elderly people to the children, all of them had this sense of no, 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 you cannot touch these animals, you can't harm them, we gotta protect them. Um, so I, I saw a positive change uh, in that village. Back to the Turtle Conservation Center. Staff here told me the good news that a baby turtle might hatch today. Perhaps luck comes to me or I truly have a bond with turtles. It's hard to describe my feelings when seeing a living creature coming to the world. It's a beautiful thing. I can hold it in my own hands to feel its very first steps. May this be the first step of the turtle's life. Many steps have been made before the hatching. I learned about the cycle of rescue, protection, nurturing and breeding of the Vietnamese endangered turtle species with the main purpose of releasing them back into the wild. This is his first step. Still many important and dangerous ones still to be made before he can lead the life of an adult as only a very few of them will do that in the wild. All the best in your life journey. May you keep your ancestors' legend alive.